Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Single Player Gamers page. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my Splinterlands gameplay of land and an issue I'm having another one. If you checked my last video, um, it was about my 100,000 grain deficiency and how I decided I was just not going to participate in land because I owe a hundred dollars to the land people. Even though I own the land, I don't owe a hundred dollars to myself. I owe a hundred dollars to my land plots. I will go ahead and show you all that right now. What's going on right now is I'm trying to cancel it and it's just not letting me get my cards off the land. What? I know, right? So the question is, is this a glitch or is this a scam? And I'm sure it's not a scam because this is Splinterlands we're talking about. <laughs> and I know I'm, I sh I sh I'm not, I know I shouldn't be having to pay a deficiency in grain to remove my cards off the land. If I am saying, keep your research points, keep your SPS, shit, if it was a grain farm, keep your grain. I want my cards back and I don't want to pay the deficiency. Now my question is, Splinterlands, is this a glitch to where I can't remove my cards? Or is this a part of the gameplay? If this is a part of the gameplay, then I am highly dissatisfied. We'll see. So as you guys know, I got nine, I got 13 lands over here. Four of them I bought um, secondhand from the third party sellers, aka the other players. And But these nine right here in, in the Shimmering Coast, I bought all these myself for $20 a pop. Well, I bought them all myself, but all these was back when it was $20 each directly from Splinterlands Corporations to support them. This is the land right here in question that I would like to cancel, okay? So we got 5.21, I mean 5.271 research per hour right here. I'm, it's ready to claim 499 research, right? So I, it will cost me $22.68, right? This is worth of grain, $22 worth of grain. And I did have a great comment yesterday on my last video, so shout out to the person that commented. Yeah, the I, I forgot to mention that we could buy grain from, I mean, peer to peer. So I do not have to buy grain, like, because the grain cost is one DEC per grain. So that would make this 22.6K, $22.68. But if I was to use the peer to peer, then it would be much cheaper. So they do have a cheaper option of acquiring grain. That's if you wanted to do peer to peer. But peer to peer... That's, that's not seamless. It's not seamlessly through this website, which is what I like, seamlessness. And, you know, you'd have to trust, I'm assuming, you got to trust the person on the other end. And I don't know any of these crypto people. And, I'm, again, I don't feel like buying no grain, personally, just because it's going to cost me fresh capital. And I feel like I spent enough on land, and I, I am not spending much more on land. Because this is not how I thought it would go. So I'd rather buy cards. So here we are. I don't want to harvest. If I were to harvest, I have to add grain. I have a 32,577.539 deficiency in grain in the Shimmering Coast. I want to just end this. <laughs> just Let's just end this. You keep your research points. Give me back this $5 active power core. And give me back all my cards. Give me back my five, some of my five strongest cards so I can put them back on the rental market. Because every day I don't have them on the rental market, they're just sitting here. It's days that I'm missing my money. And the only reason why I started Splinterlands Investing was so I could see some NFT money, some in-game utility profit, okay? And I don't want to lose money on Splinterlands at all. So if I go here, I believe I just manage all, clear all, cleared the stuff right and then save changes save changes yes go from this per hour to this to zero confirm right it says change in production on the active plot will automatically trigger a harvest we strongly advise doing a manual harvest first to avoid losing your total road do you want to proceed uh i'm not going to buy remaining grain with dec and i don't care about the total roll i just want my cards back splinterlands so i'm gonna press confirm 
because I'm not paying with my DC. You don't want $32 in my DC? No. Right? Let's do the transaction and look what happens. We just wait for it to load. Oh my gosh, player does not have enough grain. 22,694.394 in declined auto buy. So what I'm going to do is go to Discord and ask, hey everybody, do I have to pay grain deficiency before I can remove my cards off of this land? Because if so, I disagree with that. I find that, I don't know. I don't know any other words that come to mind besides bull crap. And the other S word that I said earlier, but I don't like to put that S word next to Splinterlands because Splinterlands is amazing. I have to be able to remove my cards if I feel as though, I mean, if I do not want, if I sat here and paid for the power core, I fed all these workers multiple times to get them started and running. I just want to remove my cards. I didn't change my mind. I want to put my cards back on the rental market. I don't want to pay any grain to remove my cards, man. So what the heck, Splinterlands? I cannot remove my Mylar Crowley. Or my tie, I mean, what the, my, my, my Torhelio the Frozen, can't remove my freaking 22 BCX Vera Silesia off this gold foil. Are you kidding me right now? I can't remove my cards, y'all. Ain't that some crap? Nah, man, let me take my cards off. You have a mat? What the lump? Come on, fix this, bro. No, uh-uh. Come on, please. Where did I misread it, y'all? Where did I misread it where I said I cannot remove my cards if I change my mind? And if I did, I have to pay the deficiency in the grain, even if I choose not to acquire the research or the SPS or any other thing. I don't want to pay grain. I don't have the grain. So what, my cards are stuck? Oh, nah, bro. That don't make no sense. So let's, I try to do my other land too. We're going to go to Harkton. I got a darn card over here in Harkton. I don't even, now shoot, I don't even know if I could adjust my cards to a, you know, a cheap, a more f fiscally responsible progress of research to where I'm not sitting here paying 56,000, I mean, 50, yeah, 56,000 DEC. I hope y'all can even hear me over these birds chirping. So let's say I go manage, right? I want to get my flipping, flapping Robo Dragon Knights off of here. I want to get my Robo Dragon Knights off of here. I want to get my two maxed out freaking Quid Yuffs off of here. I want to get my freaking Glodiac Slider off of here, man. Change this. If you continue changing work size, you will lose on claim resources. Okay, fuck it. Take it. Okay, I don't want nothing. I don't want none of this. Right? I want my cards. So I go to manage. Now I might be doing this wrong. That's why I'm posting a video. Please leave a comment down below. Am I missing something? Am I missing something here? Because I believe I'm doing this correctly to where I should be able to just take my cards off and not have to pay the grain. As this grain is a drain. I'm in a grain drain right now. And I want it to drain my wallet. It ain't going to drain my wallet. I'm just going to keep posting videos and say, oh my gosh, I can't take off my Robo Dragon Knight. I had my Robo Dragon Knight since 2022, but now it's stuck in land. Oh, no, nah, come on, Splinter Lance. We're going to do clear. We're going to press save changes. We're going to press confirm. Okay, I know this is great. 7.3 um, research an hour. No, do not spend my remaining grain with DEC. Confirm. Don't spend nothing. This this should be free. I should be able to take my cards off for free. Nope. Player does not own grain in this region and declined auto buy. So, Splinterlands fans, I just want to let you all aware, if you're watching this video, please understand, if you do not have enough grain, it seems as though... You cannot even take your cards off of the land. It is imperative, and they need to put this in. We, I, I may need to actually read the white paper, because I hope in the white paper it says, you better make sure you got your grain farms set up exponentially ahead of time. Make sure that them things are set up perfectly. Because if you 
have any inkling to change your mind in the future is going to cost you a lot of money. The stronger your cards are, aka the more money you can spend on your cards over the years, and then the, those are the ones you put your best, strongest cards, your best cards in these lands first for the research. If you do not have the yes, I mean, if you do not have the grain to back it up, and or the DEC, which means if you don't got that, you got to back it up with your hard earned capital. And if you do not, it seems as though Splinterlands is keeping your cards stuck to the land. And I disagree. I disapprove. I do not approve of this message, baby. Confirm. Give me my land. Give me my cards back, Splinterlands. I just want to put them up on rent, bro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Discord. Hey, man, why am I getting this message? At least the Discord is active. I love the, um, the devs in the Discord. They're very helpful. I just can't believe I can't take my cards off unless I sit here and pay how much? Because I'm not doing this Splinterlands 56,356 grain. That's $56.356. Shit. I'm not, I'm not just kidding. It's not 356 cents. 35 cents or something. I'm not about to sit here and spend any new money on Splinterlands. I'm not about to spend my... This is my SPS that I invested and they gave me. So shout out to Splinterlands. This is my money. This is my DUC. I am not spending any more money on <laughs> land, you guys. I hope you guys are having a much better time than I am at land, but right now I'm kind of irritated because I just want to put my cards back on the market to rent. And I invested a lot in these cards, and I invested a lot in land, but it's all about the cards and splinter lands. I don't even, y'all already know. I'm not sitting here playing the game, like battling in the card game like that. Y'all might not know. I don't battle the card games. I love to collect the gold cards. All my little gold cards I got over here. All my little gold cards. I just sat here and love collecting my little gold Splinterlands cards. And when land came out, I was like, oh, great. I can put my cards up on the land. It'll make me money. No, 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 no. It's costing money. Oh, I ain't spending no money right now. It's holidays, baby. I'll spend it on me. Anyways, I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all have any idea of how I cannot pay grain in order to remove my cards please let me know maybe i'm missing something you know if not i'm finna sit here on this discord ask for help because they're very helpful i love splitter lands like i say in every video i really love splitter lands it's the only it's one of my best game investments ever at least my best game investment ever second best but, but the other one just took the money and ran i just didn't sell at the right time this is the most actual video game crypto that's the best available so I don't want y'all to think that I hate Splinterlands. I don't. I just want my cards so I can put them back on the rental market and just and just look at my land and just be like, mm, I guess I'll just wait on it because it ain't ready for me. It ain't ready for me right now. Anyways, I appreciate you all for watching. Y'all have a great day. My name is Single Player Gamer. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.